today I'm going to read a book to you called What is the World Made Of? All about solids, liquids, and gases. This book was written by Kathleen Wider Zofield and illustrated by Paul Meisel. What is the world made of? All about solids, liquids, and gases. Have you ever seen anyone walk through a wall? Hi, I can walk through walls. Uh, how'd you do that? Did you ever drink a glass of blocks? Have you ever played with a lemonade doll or put milk for socks? The only one who would thank you would be the kitty cat. Walls and blocks, dolls and socks, milk and lemonade, rocks and trees, all of these things are made of matter. The air and the breeze that blows the leaves, water flowing in the creek, everything on earth is made of matter. Lucky for us, it's easy to tell that not all matter is alike. Matter comes in three states. It can be solid, liquid, or gas. Walls and blocks and socks are solids. Milk and lemonade and water are liquids. The air you breathe is a gas. Some solids are hard and some are soft. But all solids hold their shape unless you do something to change them. A wooden block is hard. You can push it and pull it and squeeze it. It will always stay squared. If your baby brother pounds it with his toy truck, it may chip or break, but then the broken pieces will hold their shape. Modeling, modeling clay is soft. You can roll it out flat like a pancake or squeeze it into a ball. You can cut it with a knife or scissors, but if you leave it alone, it will hold whatever shape it is in. It is a solid. What do you think? Awesome. Liquids have no shape. You pour a glass of milk for your little sister, and the milk takes the shape of the glass. If she knocks it over, the milk spreads out on the tabletop. It flows over the edge like a waterfall. It drips and splatters on the floor. Milk is not round or square. It has no shape at all. Ah, oh, what a mess. Liquids can be thick like a milkshake or thin like water. They can feel slippery like cookie oil or sticky like maple syrup. But all liquids can be poured and all liquids take the shape of whatever they are in. Gases have no shape either. Like air, most gases are invisible. You cannot see them. But you can feel them. Hold your arms out and spin. You can feel the air move against your skin. Air fills up all the space around you. Gases spread out to fill up any container they are in, no matter how big. Ask a grown-up if you can borrow a bottle of perfume and ask someone to be your assistant. Go into a room and close all the doors and windows. Stand in one corner and have your assistant stand in the opposite corner. Open the bottle and wave it gently. Can your friend smell the perfume? How long does it take before it, she can smell it? When you open a bottle of perfume, some of the gas in the perfume escapes. In a few minutes, the gas will spread out to every corner of the room.
Water is a special type of matter that can change easily from a liquid to a gas. It can also change easily from a liquid to a solid and back again. When matter changes form, we say it's changing its state. A change in temperature is what usually causes matter to change its state. Whenever you make ice cubes, you are changing water from a liquid to a solid. To make ice cubes, all you have to do is pour water into an ice cube tray and put the tray in the freezer. Then wait. The cool air in the freezer cools the water. In a few hours, the liquid water gets so cold that it freezes. It is a solid. Pop an ice cube out of the tray. How does it feel? Push it and pull it and squeeze it. It is as solid as one of your wooden blocks. If you hold it in your hand for a while, though, you will feel the ice turning into water again. Is this ice as hard as this block? Yes! The warmth from your hand makes the ice melt. Liquid water begins to drip between your fingers and run up your sleeve. Hey, mine is melting! With a grown-up's help, you can watch water turning from a liquid to a gas state. Fill a small saucepan with water, halfway up with water. Put the saucepan on the stove and let the grown-up turn on the burner. After a while, heat from the burner will make the water hot. Look carefully and you will see the small bubbles forming at the bottom of the pan. As it is heated, some of the water turns into bubbles of gas. The gas is called water vapor. Be careful, the pot is hot. I see bubbles. Soon the bubbles begin to rise and pop. The water is boiling. As the bubbles pop, water vapor moves up into the room. You might see wisps of whitish steam rising above the water. The steam is concentrated water vapor. Do not try to touch the steam. It is very hot and could burn your skin. Like all gases, Water vapor gradually spreads throughout the room you are in. If the door is open, it will keep on spreading out the door. You cannot see it, but the water vapor is there all around it. The water vapor in that room too? It is! If you want to see it again, you have to change it back into water. Fill a drinking glass with water and ice cubes. This works better if you break the ice cubes into small pieces. Make sure the outside of the glass is dry. Before long, you will see droplets of water forming on the outside of the glass. The ice makes the glass cool. The cold glass cools the water vapor that is in the air next to it. As the water vapor cools, it turns back into liquid water drops again. It gathers and drops on the outside of the glass. Can you see it? All matter, everything on earth is either solid, liquid, or gas. Water changes its state easily as it gets warmer or colder. But most things stay in one state or another. Solids stay solid, liquids stay liquids, gases stay gaseous. Our snowman sure is solid, and so am I. It's a good thing they do too. Can you imagine a world where your toy melts when it gets too hot? Where the walls of your house turn into hazy gas? Can animals just walk in and out as they please? A place where on cold days you have to swim through the air and where everything you like to drink 
is as hard as a block. What a crazy world that would be. Ouch.